Okay, we're recording, and I think we're probably uh, live on Facebook as well. That's what it says. Hello, everybody. It's uh, it's Monday, and we, we're doing our Monday program in spite of the fact that it's kind of a holiday today. But, uh, boy, we've got a lot of people waiting to be here. So um, let's have them join us. Let me just make sure. I, I always have to make sure that we are... Uh, uh, that we're going out okay, you know. Uh, let me see here. Where is it? There we go. And uh, let me just check it. Uh, yep, 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 yep. We're out there. Okay. We're all, oh, I'm, the more, while I just was trying to fix things up, a lot of people joined us. So let me uh, let me have them join us here. There, there's Shecky, and there's Jeff, and there's Edward, and there's Charlie as always, and and uh, Mr. Chisholm up there in uh, Canada, in Canada, uh, uh, and uh, I, I, yeah. So anyway, uh, hey there, everybody. How are you? Good. Are you uh, Fantastic. okay? Let me see here. There we go. I think we got you audio wise. Okay, not as many people as usual, but maybe we will be joined by others as... Andrew can't be here. Andrew can't be here. Andrew Deutsch? Yes. Yeah, why can't he be here? What's his excuse? Did he get a note from his parents? No, unknown to him, his wife invited a bunch of people over for this, this afternoon. Oh, so. I see. Okay, well, you know... He'll have to make it up to us in some other way. Actually, he makes it up to me a lot when I'm doing those things out in the park and stuff. He's always. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, wait a minute. We just lost Jeff. Oh, well. It'll all be okay soon here. Let me see here. What do we got? Uh, oh, I got a, a Scott Boddicker and uh, Steve Bender. Uh, we got to add him to it. Uh, I have to apologize to Steve Bender. I haven't been in touch yet to go get something to eat, but we will do it. I promise you. I know. Too hot. Too hot now. Too, oh, man. It, how was it out of your place, Shecky? Today was nice, but I guess we have 90 degrees tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be worse. Because um, yeah. I, I Look, did. But again, we're all going to be complaining when it's three degrees next January. I never, I never feel bad when it's cold. Me neither. Never. I love cold. Yeah, but other people will. Oh, yeah. And those are the same ones complaining it's too hot. Yeah, yeah. So I, I happen to like, uh, I happen to like uh, colder weather rather than hotter weather. Uh, but, you know, if you don't like it, move away from New York to somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm in Texas. I took a, I, I took a uh, walk yesterday with Marjorie, and we went up uh, up this hill. And uh, she she knows the hill, and she said, "Come on, let's go." And we started going up the hill, up the hill, up. It just kept going in Central Park. I think it's the highest spot in Central Park. Uh, and uh, uh, I uh, my legs were hurting today, so that was good for me. Um, what have you all been doing for the 4th of July? Have you been celebrating it? Watched a lot of baseball. Watched a lot of baseball. I'll tell you something. I got to tell you something. This is kind of fun. We, we have, and I don't know if you have this problem out in uh, where you are, uh, uh, Shecky, but uh, it's uh, fireworks time. Oh. It was pretty quiet last night. Not bad. Here it was terrible. Okay. Uh, and then all of a sudden, at a certain hour, uh, I saw, okay, uh, a, um, uh, I saw some cops outside my window with a big patrol wagon, you know, one of the ones where they load people into them. Okay. And they, they came to the neighborhood. And all of a sudden, it became very quiet. <laughs> Just really, really, really quiet. And I went, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, I love that. Um, so I go to sleep and I go, gee, it's so nice. It's quiet out there. Boy, the police are really doing their job. 
And all of a sudden, about three o'clock in the morning, I hear this explosion that sounds like, I don't know, the building coming down in Florida. I mean, just, and I went, well, they didn't get them all. (laughs) But uh, anyway, where's Marjorie? She's here. I know that. (laughs) She just took a shower. So she's all showered for the show. (laughs) Smells good. Because I I need her because I need to ask her to go get me some uh, some uh, 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 soda because I forgot to get mine and I don't want to leave you guys. How's everything up in Canada? You do you don't when do you celebrate your Independence Day? The first of July, Canada Day. Uh, oh. First of July, and that's because it's Tim Horton's birthday, right? <laughs> something like that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> now it's uh. It, you know, it's a weird year up here right now because of um, in the news. Have you guys, has it permeated down to the States yet about the uh, residential schools on our uh, indigenous tribes? Okay. So there was a, there was a policy for years and years and years, decades from the 1800s that uh, um, on native reservations, there would be something called residential schools mm-hmm. and uh, the Catholic church ran them. Well, yeah. over the last couple months, there have been and, and kids would be taken from their parents and it's just atrocity stuff genocide stuff i've had a real hard time yeah, actually i've read something about it yeah okay yeah it's almost like i feel like i could relate to somebody in germany finding out that they come from like a nazi family that's how and there's a lot of us that are feeling that way up here because of these uh graveyards that have been found at these residential schools and um you know Two days before Canada Day, in the middle of the country, there was one that was discovered with 800 uh, grave of 800 kids, and 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 I got to tell you, it was it's really been subdued up here. A lot of people wearing orange, wearing orange ribbons to uh, to uh, to talk about it. So a lot of people. Someone liked something you would expect in Canada. Right. Uh, Yeah, like it's funny. um, I. I was talking to a, a friend of mine about it on his podcast the other day. And I feel like um, if there was any moral authority that our country would have had, it's, 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 it's gone. What? It's gone. My iPad is broken. I can't get on here. What's What's you're on? On? You're I'm on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't see everyone. I see a door. Okay. Uh, yeah, now she, you're going to see her go. Out oh, to the, no. There's our apartment. But see? how come I don't see any of you? I don't know. <laughs> You've got the camera face forward. You got to you got to go in the wrong direction. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you got. Yeah, I don't want to know. There, there aren't any cold it. ones in there. There aren't the any cold ones. In there. No, Marjorie, there aren't any cold ones in there. <laughs> the cold you're, one. You're going to bring me that lemonade that doesn't have any fizz in. It. Because this was a great transition from the masquerade of kids. There you go. Yeah. There you go. See, there you go. <laughs> so these are kids that died in school? I can't see everybody. So what, what would happen is the Canadian government would, would basically have this program where they would they would take kids from Marjorie's their families and send them to what's called a boarding what school, but it wasn't a boarding school. Okay. And um, the whole goal of it would was to get the culture out of them. It was to it was oh. to convert them from being indigenous to, you know, Canadian. What, um, what did and, the Catholic Church have to do with it? I couldn't quite figure that out. They were in charge of it. They were in charge. They were, well, that's your problem right there. Right there. <laughs> well, and, and, you know, there's been there's been five or six Catholic churches burned to the ground since this Good. has kind of come up and and and. Good start. Um, it's really really. Um, dividing people and there's a lot of people up here talking about it and so canada day this year was fucked up no, like it was no, there's no, a lot of people you, who were not you. celebrating and it was uh yeah yeah it's it's it's, it's, a, you, it's a big you're, thing you're hearing that from scott bodiker who is a devout catholic right yeah, so, yeah totally he goes to church every day i went this morning yeah but you said good right good burn those bitches down <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh. Well, it's uh, yeah, it's and it's and it's, and it's funny with the, the current like the council culture that we live in any statements that are being made by and I don't know the hierarchy, but 
but bishops or archbishops or whatever that are being made, um, you know, asking for 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 anything are just being met with hostility. And 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 I mean, it's uh, it is a real um, it's a barn burner. Well, we're not hearing much about it down here, but maybe we should. Hear this is all I'm getting. What? What? This yeah, they're called getting. residential schools. This is schools. all you're getting. If you, yeah. if you Google cannabis residential schools, you'll see it. Okay. I don't, I don't know. know. Oh, oh do you do you hear, hear, hear me echoing? Turn yeah. this down. Yeah. I see your fingers. What? I see your fingers. <laughs> we did it here. It says well. Marjorie's iPhone. Well, well, well there. Oh, you, you know what you're going to see. You're only going to see. Well, there. Why can't I see everybody? Yeah, why do we see? And why are we seeing? Hmm. How do you turn that on? I, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, Zoom. Yeah. That's but how okay. do you get everybody? Okay, wait a minute. And then now we see Edward Berger. How do we? Hey! I don't know. And there's there's Jeffrey. Jeffrey? They're giving mm -hmm. us the finger. And what's oh, the finger? Whenever, whenever, somebody's whenever somebody's talking, they okay. come on. Well, how do I turn this around? Then? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I give up. All right. Wait a minute. Hold, Hold on. Does Alex have pants on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Look. Wait a minute. This could oh, be the yeah. best show you've ever done. Mark, Mark <laughs> well, there. You don't see like things like this on the Sean Hannity show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I really don't know how to how to get the front camera. How to flip it? Wait a minute. That might be the way to do it. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. There you go. Okay, but how come I can't see anyone else? We look the same, Marjorie. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You know. Why don't you go back to your uh, I am. dungeon? I'm going back there. Now we can go back. Thank you. What? what, what you I said, now we can go back to genocide. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, we got God. a lot of people watching today, mm. which is good. There she goes. She's there she is. what I've been doing for the last three months, what, three weeks, I guess. What have you been doing for the last three weeks? Yeah. Uh oh, wait, wait a minute. What, that's your sister? Marches? Yeah. Is that your sister? Yep. What happened to her? Is she, a, is she trying to get a telethon going or something? <laughs> she had a uh, hip surgery. Oh, hip surgery. Uh, hip yeah. replacement or hip repair? Well, more repair. Um, she's had it done on the other side. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this one is, it's more like the tissue in between the bone. She says, your bone looks really young. <laughs> <laughs> your sister looked pretty young too. How old is she? She's uh, younger than me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pretty. She looks good. She's younger than you. She looks great. Yeah. She looks, she looks yeah, great. Yeah. Give it the other way. Yeah. 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 Wow. Well, and you're still down in Georgia, right? Georgia, yeah, for the, another week. Another week. And what are you doing? Just to take care of her? And... Yep. And good. Pam's with me. Right. Taking care of her and going out to lunch. And she's doing pretty good. What's it like down? It's different. <laughs> yep. What do you mean it's different? Well, it's Georgia, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I think one of uh, Pam got uh, the opportunity to see two of the girls that she went to college with who lives down there. And she's talking and, and her husband says that to, to Pam, she goes, um, do you think Clinton was the one who caused that? <laughs> that was a joke for them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shecky, did you do anything uh, on 4th of July? No. Okay. Thank you. That's exciting. Uh, Marjorie, did you hear oh, did you hear that the uh, I was mentioning that last night we had the, the fireworks. I mean, the bullets? Well, you know something? If there was a bullet fired in this neighborhood, you wouldn't know. You couldn't tell. You couldn't <laughs> tell. Right. And uh, did you have it downtown, Steve Bender? 
No, I was actually um, at the fireworks when my daughter's got a roof uh, of her building on uh, oh, nice. Murray Hill. So it was it was spectacular. Yeah. Was also shooting them off on the Empire State Building. Oh yeah. my God, that was, was this, great. It was this wraparound view from the river to the Empire State Building. Yeah, wow. Funny, though, we can see usually see the Empire State Building from here, but we didn't see the fireworks. Oh. And I think it was there was some kind of fog or something, or maybe there was just too much smoke from all the fireworks. A lot of smoke. Yeah, no, it was great to be able to see it without being in a, in a throng of people. You know, it was just yes. there, were, there were 10 people up there. You know, it was not. Oh, well. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's although, great. I've got to say something. I went out to the, uh, uh, the East River one year uh, on 4th of July to watch the fireworks. And I was amazed at how few people there were out there because this city kind of becomes a ghost town during July 4th weekend. You know, so there aren't the, the massive amounts of people you would expect. You know, there was a lot of traffic when we walked home. You know, there were oh, I could imagine that the cars were just clogged, and then there were cops everywhere. There were as many yeah. cops as people out there. Well, I was telling Marjorie, I was telling them that last night we had all this noise, and you didn't see it, but then the cops showed up along with a paddy wagon. Which block? Our block, 116. Down around, yeah. um, and all Lennox. of a sudden, all of a sudden, the fireworks disappeared. What time was that? This was about oh one o'clock, something like that. And then I went to sleep, and then about three in the morning, I don't know if you heard it, huge explosion. I think two of them. Somebody must have had his. I mean, and here's what I don't get. How much, these must be expensive fireworks, right? They're not cheap. And with one light, light of a match, they've just blown off, say, a couple of hundred bucks. Why do they do that? <laughs> to annoy me? <laughs> <laughs> I hope they got their money's worth. Look, you're talking about it on the show. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. But I was mentioning to Marjorie last night when I was watching the fireworks on TV because we watch them on TV and then Marjorie photographs them off the TV and then sends it to her friends like she was at the East River. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? Don't you, dear? I did that one year. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, it, it was, uh, as, as we were watching it, I said to her, you know what's so wonderful about this? This is like celebrating the end of COVID. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's not over. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm saying that people now feel they can go out, that they have, you know, come on, Shecky. Celebrate with me. It's over. It ain't over. You don't think it's over? No. They're going to do that giant It's Over concert in Central Park. Oh, really? <laughs> Paul, si Paul Simon and Bruce Springsteen and um, I forget the third. When? Oh. Okay. I think it's all, they didn't announce the date yet. I think it's early August, but I have I don't know if they've announced the date. Maybe they'll hang a mission accomplished banner over but top. Is it, it, yeah. is, is, it, is, it, is it officially called the the pandemic is over concert? It's some New York is back, you know, pandemic's over, yeah, if you want it, you know, whatever. Len LaFrisco is somewhere other than home. The beach. Right, right, yeah. Len? Well, he can't hear us. Len? Yeah, hey, there you are. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Exactly. I'm in uh, Avila Beach, California, near San Luis Obispo. Yeah. And, uh, Louis Obispo. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> you can see uh, see the beach goers. And how, yeah, crowded, how, nice. crowded, how crowded is the beach? It's not bad. Let me see if I turn it this way. Does that help? Oh, that's better. There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not bad. There's not many people here really at all. Really? Okay. I just wanted to join and say hello and happy fourth. I hope you guys had a good time. And, uh, hello, hello. Well, we're, we're, <laughs> Len, it's not a topless beach, eh? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. I can tell because you're not topless. Well, you know, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. This is a really cute town. I mean, I don't know if you can. San Luis Abismal? <laughs> San Luis Abismal is uh, 
It's about that's about ten miles that way. This is called you've Avila never been Beach. To, wait a minute, you've never been to San Luis Obispo? Yeah, I spent the night there last night. No, no, no I'm saying before this. Oh, oh no, no, not at all. No. Oh, it's very nice town. Yeah. Yeah. Pass through it's, Who you, knew? You you go up the coast, right? It's off a of highway one. Yeah, correct. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There, there's this great in case people don't know this great. Road yeah, I, goes up the coast of California called Highway right. One. Did we take it? Yeah. No. No. Absolutely gorgeous. Jackie, All right, I can. I, take it. Oh yeah, yeah, we we've did. driven it. Oh, okay. I think I went there. Right. Like in fact, if you drove all there. the way up Highway One and keep going, and keep going, you wind up at Guadalajara, and that's where Kathleen lived. Oh, here we go again. And we, if you no, if you go up further, that's where all the pot lives. You know, in Mendocino. Mm. So it's a good stuff. It's, a, it's one of the great highways. All right. I'm going to say goodbye. Okay. Well, goodbye, Len. Oh, well, here comes here comes my group. Wait. Right? Say hi to everybody. Everybody say hi to Alex. Hi, everybody. My condolences. <laughs> did you see him more than I did? Thank you. See you guys. Have fun. Okay. Bye. 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 There goes uh, Tim LaFrisco, ladies and gentlemen. He joins us I usually. I don't know how to make you go away. Oh, just uh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Well, no, you just turned off your camera. Um, yeah. Marjorie, tell him what we I told him already, but you already. What? Uh, what me, else? You tell him what we did on the fourth slide. Here, I'll get it. Sorry, man. Oh, no. Uh, let me see here. Uh, bu -bu 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 uh remove i can remove him or put him in the waiting room that way we'll there we go pick, figure out how to get rid of him so anyway um oh mark thorner is here oh let me uh bring in mark uh hello mark <coughs> thorner how are you down there in uh, florida in um i'm trying to remember uh, it's uh what where oh that's a green screen you can't fool us Oh, yeah, no kidding. But right now it's kind of raining. Gee, I wonder why. Oh yeah, you've got uh, you've, you've got, got the storm. Yeah, we got that. So it's it's been fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I again, you live in uh, b -b 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 Naples. As soon as you say it, I'm going to hate myself. No, it's Naples. Naples. Okay. Yeah. You're on the other side. Well, no, no, no. I'm on the side where it's coming up. Man. Yeah, he's a, oh. you're, you're on the uh, you're on the, uh, yeah. the the west coast, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's going up the west coast. Oh yeah. Wow. Well. Yeah, it may not exactly hit Miami hard. Yeah, that's for sure. But yeah. if it does, it'll bring down a couple of buildings. You know, it's going to rain tomorrow. Yeah, there's nothing like Miami architecture, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Uh, so uh, oh, Ben, did you see the meme that Donald the Dope Jr. posted this morning? No. No. I emailed it to you. It's Donald Trump flying on an eagle with a shotgun over Mount Rushmore with the presidents wearing MAGA hats. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. I emailed it to you. <clears throat> They don't give up, do they? No. Well, that's how they win. No, but, you know, there's, there, there's something about keeping your dignity. They don't have Donald dignity. Right. Donald never had an iota of dignity. Uh, they never had it, but somehow I, I think that, you know, it's important that you try to maintain your dignity after you lose an election. And they. Why? He didn't <laughs> lose. <laughs> Don Jr. Hey, well, sorry, you're right. He did. Don Jr. seems totally coked out of his gourd every time I, you get a look at him. I mean, it's yeah. great. Now, how, how many here, just a tad? Gee, we're talking about him today. Yeah. Boy. I See. did that. I'm sorry. You brought it up. Shame on you. All right, yeah, but that picture, when you look at it, it is so great. How many miss the excitement? <laughs> <laughs> What excitement. I was saying the other day to Marjorie how, how really totally dull Joe Biden is and what a relief that is. You know, one dull at this moment. You disagree with me, Scott, that he's dull? 
Oh no, it, no, oh. he's very dull. I love it. Yeah, yeah. We need it. How about you, Charlie? You feel that uh, Joe's dull? I love the dullness. Yeah. Do you realize he has a job? He's just been president for about a half a year now. And he hasn't killed anybody. Though. And he hasn't killed anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? That's it. That's the oh, meme. God. There we are with him flying on an eagle mm -hmm. with them wearing MAGA hats. How can you do that? And he's got a shotgun in his hand. How can you do it to Mount Rushmore? How can you do that to Mount Rushmore? And the sun put it out. Oh, he does. All these really. MAGA people, when they were using their American flags to beat up cops on January 6th, now, now, now they want to be patriotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Trump has a, a gun license. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Because he can certainly have one down in Florida. I, I think to have one, in order to get a... a, a, a gun license down in Florida, you have to have a pulse. <laughs> no, I it's think practically it's Alex, it's practically a Cracker Jack prize down here. <laughs> <laughs> the prize people What's in your box of Cracker Jacks? Oh, oh a, shotgun. a shotgun. <laughs> you gotta be Cracker Jacks. I love that. Yes, Jeffrey. If you drive into Florida from another state, mm -hmm. the first thing is you get stopped by the cops. And they said, do you have a gun? And, and if you say no, they said, all right, we'll give you one. <laughs> <laughs> um, God, when is Florida going to come into the 20th century? You, I mean, you must, must try. I, Mark Thorner is as lefty as I know. OK, how do you how do you stand it down there? Because my family's here, Alex, and I am finding like-minded people. Okay, your family has <clears throat> like-minded thoughts to you. <clears throat> and like I said, there are other people. We're, we're, we're not as alone or in a vacuum. Yes. Yeah. So, and yeah, but there's they're, they're still insanity. I mean, it, 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 I've never experienced this type of nuttiness. You know, it's like, yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm amazed. Are you amazed by the fact that uh, with this whole thing of that uh, condo, that uh, condo pate that we have okay. down there? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something very funny. Yeah. Well, funny. It, it's a it's a dire situation. It's horrible. But I was talking to my mom, who happens to be 90 years old. And when this happened, she gave me an exact description of what happened. And I'm like, there's no way she got it right. Why? Because when she was on the condo board of her building, one of her board mates was in the construction business. And that's what they, what you have to check. You have to check those things. Yes. Did they have the same problem? No, but any building down here, Marge, has to be yeah. checked. It has to be, ch I, I, I had no idea just how the buildings are, you know, it's, it's just a different kind of construction they have to do with buildings. It's not like up in New York where you have New York Manhattan shell or out in Brooklyn where you have clay, where you put the pine, it's, it's different down here. And this is And how it seems like there's no guidelines for structure. They're supposed to be, but yeah, you know. It's you, foreign, you know. Yeah. I mean, the thing is that here in New York, I think, what is it, Shecky? How many, uh, how many years, every so many years, does a brick building have to be pointed? I don't know. You but do. don't forget, it's built on bedrock, Manhattan. Yeah, Manhattan shell. But wait a minute. So the Mercer Center, that was, uh, well, I was very, very young. I think that collapsed. <laughs> but that was like the 60s. Alex, I think this might have been even before you came here for MCA. Mm -hmm. uh, there was I don't uh, remember a building falling down. Yeah, this one did, <laughs> but it, we're we're talking, you know, six, oh, you know, close to sixty years, maybe. Yeah. You know, you I know, and I don't know if this is true, but I read one theory is they were using substandard steel in the building of this condo yeah. when they built it. 
Well, in when San, they built it in San Francisco, several buildings in my neighborhood uh, uh, fell down, you know, collapsed. But it took an earthquake to do it. Yeah, mm. you know. Well, yeah, that was like. And, <laughs> and, and, and now that all those buildings have been retrofitted after the and fixed after the uh, uh, earthquake, they're never falling again because they put them on what they call rolling foundations. So that they will sway. The only problem you have with a building in an earthquake falling, if it if, is if it's rigid, if it has moved to room to move and sway, it's not going to fall. Mm -hmm. It's that it's that rigidness, and then it just shakes everything loose. So mm -hmm. all the buildings that hadn't been retrofitted after the uh, original earthquake in 1906 had been retrofitted. Um, you know, my building didn't go, but uh, the one next to me did. <laughs> you know, so it was it was something. It was something. Um, but uh, what's their excuse down in Miami? I guess just bad engineering, bad uh, bad control. Bad, uh, they were warned about this, and no one did anything. The condo board had a study done. They came back. They said, "Yeah, you got to get this check." Nothing happened. Yeah, well, and the well, owners of the condos didn't want to pay the money. That's right. That's yeah. That's part of the. That's also the other. Um, the owners of, of the condo live there. Yeah, but a lot of these places, Marge, it's the second residence, and you get screwed over on the real estate property taxes if this is not your primary residence. So they're going to do the minimum. Oh, okay. so so how do they know they're, they say they're looking for 150 people or something like that. How do they know there were 150 people in the building? Depends. It, uh, they usually have a roster of who's still in town, who's not. Every board does that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, uh, well. You know. What was that? Oh boy. I just had an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I thought dinner would oh, be. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It was there, but it's gone now. Now the most important part of our program on Mondays, Marjorie, what are we having for dinner? We have chicken with broccoli. Chicken with broccoli, ladies. And what do we have stir, stir fried? What have, what have we had yesterday? Chicken and wine sauce. <laughs> and what were you cutting up today and putting into uh, a little chicken? Chicken. chicken. <laughs> Is this because right. you, because you don't like beef? Oh, by the way, here's something we're doing now. Jackie. We're going to uh, we're, we're getting our food every week from Stu Leonard's. Oh. oh my God, Stu Leonard! <laughs> they deliver. No, they deliver. Instacart delivers. Wow! And delivers. within a couple of hours, she's got to have her potato chips. And so do you. And she's got to have her sausages, breakfast sausage. Breakfast sausage. And uh, what else are we getting? We got me a steak. And we steak. Got crab cakes. Crab cakes and uh, cherries. The cherries were really good. And, and they're on sale this week. Yeah. I asked Marjorie, though, to tell me, to ask the woman when she came here and delivered, how they get the stuff from Stu Leonard to us so fast. They do it within an hour. And there's well, I told you, they're probably the Bronx Market. It, uh, there's a Bronx, what, warehouse, right? No, yeah. the food market. There is, yeah. Yeah. That's point. Yeah. But there's a Stu Leonard's there? No, no, but I'm sure they have a warehouse there. They do. Right. Okay. Well, so that was so that's where no many one... places deliver their food for certain, you know, whatever supermarket yeah. or whatever. That West used to be the, the on the Lower East Side where all the food was. Well, I don't know, but you know, it's it's two Leonard's and they have they have you have one out where you are, right, Jackie? Out in Long Island, and, and one in one, Yonkers. One in Yonkers. Yonkers is the great yeah, one. One in, yeah, I love it. There's one in Connecticut. You say you have yeah. two in Connecticut, yeah. but there's nothing within an hour's driving distance of us. 
Mm. No. So somehow they're getting it to us, you know. And I wanted to ask her, I wanted you to ask her, and then you forgot. How are you I, doing? I forgot. But, you know, they have most of the food that Stu Leonard's hands there. You can get the lobster salad, everything. Mm. You know, so it, it, it's so. Because don't forget, they have to get it to Yonkers, Connecticut, Long Island, whatever. So it has to be coming from a central place. So that's why I'm saying Hunts Point Market. Okay. Yeah, I think he's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a good place. Well, that's good. Okay. So anyway, so we're, we're having, we're having, you're making up stir fry from, uh, what is it, Fresh Direct? Fresh Direct. Yeah. She was going to make it yesterday, but I said, that is not exactly the kind of dinner you make for 4th of July. <laughs> what do you want? Hot dogs? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> I offered them hot dogs. Well, I guess you should have had stir fry because after all, she works for the Chinese. So, so wait a minute. Know. The other day was a big hot dog course. Right? Oh, it was okay. the national, the yearling hot dog eating. Yeah, at, what did they do? Uh, Focus at, right. um, Joey Chestnut. Yeah. yeah, who's the name of the hot dogs? It's uh, Nathan's. Nathan's. But how Nathan's. Joey Chestnut wins every year? He, he ate won. like four hundred and four. Was like four hundred and seventy in ten minutes or something like that. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Two. <laughs> so I was listening to a sports show today where the host announced that Joey Chestnut is better than Tom Brady. <laughs> They have to eat the bread too, don't, Shecky, don't they have to eat the bread too? Yes. yes. They soak it they, in water. They put, they put it in water, I think. Yeah. Oh, God. But, but apparently Joey Chestnut is a better sports hero than Tom Brady. Wait a minute. When did eating hot dogs become a sport? <laughs> yeah. When ESPN fun. started to carry I mean, it on their network. Exactly. So to me, seeing how many hot dogs you can eat in it's a BS. Of time is about the equivalent of the Tide Pod challenge. <laughs> you, know? you know, how many dumplings can you eat in five minutes? How many, you know, come on. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was, so he won again yesterday? Yes, he yeah. did. He set a world record. I set a record. <laughs> yeah. So Who was the girl that won? He won more than the female? Who was the female? I have no idea because oh, I don't yeah. watch it. I don't, don't care. follow this. We had like 20 hot dogs. If you really cared, I bet you could probably go on YouTube and find it. Yeah, Google it. Yeah, just Google it. You'll see the meeting. It. I just looked. It started in 1997. They started doing this. Really? Yeah. yeah that sounds about right. Yeah. You would have thought. No, I think it was earlier because my ex partner won it in the 80s when it was a BS competition. Oh, yeah, I think it became like a sanctioned regular thing. But they did sanctioned. It yeah, it's been sanctioned by who? The <laughs> WWE? The national hot dog. The hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, Checking, I went out to uh, uh, Nathan's, right? To yeah, get a couple of years ago. You know, I got to tell you, there's nothing better, I think, than a Nathan's hot dog. That's great. You know? We actually have a Nathan's down here, which was nice. You know, but, you know what the trouble with all the other Nathans are? The Nathans in uh, in Coney Island. Coney Island doesn't serve it with. Can you get sauerkraut on them there? There's something that. No, no I can. think you can. Yeah. Get sauerkraut. And for a while, you couldn't get them with sauerkraut. All you could get was the hot dog, out of the one in Coney Island. Really? Yeah. Um, I. Where did where do you stand on Nathan's fries? They tend to divide people. The cup with the thick fries. I like those. I like them too. Yeah. I like them when they're made crispy. Right. So if they can be soggy, that's the problem. All right. So I have a frame of reference for this because I've been to Nathan's in Las Vegas. Is Vegas Nathan's the same as New York Nathan's? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the in, in theory, yes. But I hmm. wonder if it's the same hot dog they serve in Coney. I used to oh, have a friend, close. not a girlfriend, but a friend, female friend, whose father, I think, owned Nathan's. Well, oh. that was Na um, Nathan Handworker, Harworker, something worker. Anyway, he didn't work that hard. 
Uh, <laughs> and she said, you want hot dogs? I can get you hot dogs. <laughs> and she could get tons of them. I mean, she would, she, she left off like a whole sack of, of, of Nathan's hot dogs uh, at my house one day. I said, here, you know. Uh, and I thought that, I thought in a way that was the great life growing up with a guy who makes the best hot dogs in America, you know? And then they make, they, they, they didn't have the fries, which I think were very good. In most yeah. cases, they were pretty good. And then uh, uh, what else do they have out there? Well, they had frog's legs. Right. <laughs> they did have frog's legs. Yeah. I actually, oh, it, it's been on the menu. I saw it there too. Yeah. I actually, when I was a kid, I had my first ever soft shell crab sandwich. Was that Nathan's? Mm. Really? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I um, when we when I came to New York with my show, um, uh, my newswoman came with us, Lori Thompson, and so I said, "Got to take you down to Nathan's." It was a Nathan's in Times Square. It wasn't as good as going all the way out to Coney mm -hmm. Island, but yeah, the it, one on Forty Fourth Street that's no yeah. longer there. It's right. no longer there. Uh -huh. And she went in and with me, and I ordered like two big hot dogs with sauerkraut and the whole thing, and I'm living large. And what does she order? <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going, are you out of your goddamn mind? I brought you here for the best hot dog in America. In the center of, of says, hot dog land. I like pizza. I don't like hot dogs. <laughs> you know, I'm never speaking to you again, you know, except on the radio. <laughs> so, uh, Edward, how is uh, life in the 4th of July in the land of cartoon voices? Very good, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to get you to say something. Don't I'm... worry, don't worry. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, it, it was, uh, you know... Uh, and, and, and Marjorie just, we, we just kind of like, we just sit around and go, boy, we're tired. That's pretty much our life, right? Well, the weather here the last three days have been just god awful. Well, no, the last couple of days have been good. I took a walk. We took a walk yesterday and it wasn't. Yeah, but it was cloudy. And the two days before that, it rained. Hey, listen, compared to the way it was, I would take cloudy. You know? It didn't rain. It poured. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good walking day yesterday. You know, so Atlanta was was absolutely nice. It, it was not as hot as uh, New York. And how is it down there, Mark? Not as bad as some parts in the rest of the country, Alex. Yeah. Oh, I, no. so it, I mean, I'm not saying oh, it's so comfortable. No, I, I mean, I got to be done by like if I'm going outdoors, I got to be done by ten o'clock. Otherwise. Yeah. It just get it goes off the rails. Too really. much. Well, you know, the thing was up in out in California, I read these incredible temperatures, say in Seattle. Yeah. And Seattle's not known for hot weather. That is weird. I used to live in Seattle. You know, and neither's Portland. I mean, my my ex-wife yeah. probably died in time to miss all the hot weather, you know. I mean, God, it was it was it usually up in that part of the country. It's almost like somebody said, does it ever stop raining in Seattle? Well, people yeah. don't have air Every conditioners. Day there was a run on air conditioners. They don't have air conditioners. Yeah. I didn't went in San Francisco. Uh, did I have an air conditioner, Rick? I don't think so. No. I... No. You know why? Can there was no it? place to put them. Uh, all you could get, maybe, I could, now, couldn't even know that. What I had were windows that opened out like this. Yeah. And there was nowhere to put uh, uh, an air conditioner because they got to fit in a window, you know? And Or you'd have to have it mounted in the wall, which yeah. you weren't going to do. Mounted in the wall. What do you yeah, mean? below. To the outside? My one in the kitchen is mounted into the wall. Yeah. What do you mean mounted into the wall? It's, it's like you cut a hole in the wall? Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, you can you can do that at my apartment house because you're the owners of the apartment house. Well, right? that's what I'm saying. Yes, I own the house, so I can do what I want. So yeah. when it got hot, uh, I think the best thing I had was like a swamp cooler. You know, because mm -hmm. I had a studio 
there where we did these TV shows out of, and I had lights, and it got hot in there. When it got really hot, it got really hot, you know. And opening the window didn't do it, you know. It was it was a, a pretty incredible. Uh, yeah, but San Francisco has never been considered a hot zone. No, uh, what happens with San Francisco? I call it America's only air conditioned city. You know, I mean, uh, if you get a hot day there, the evening comes and the fog rolls in, it all cools off, you know, so. How's it in Texas? It's gotta be, it's gotta be hot in Texas right now, Charlie. And well, actually it's been raining all for the last two months. So it hasn't really, we had a couple of weeks where it was over a hundred degrees and that was it. Well, you're it's down- only like 90 degrees. You're down in Austin, right? Yep. Yeah. And Scott is all the way up in Plano. Which is near Dallas. And it's 88 degrees outside, and it's yep. beautiful. Really? And it's not humid? And the forecast for the next 10 days, they predicted a high of only 92 on one of those days. This is awesome here. It's unusually cool. Yeah. yeah. You know, I have my air conditioner off, and the window's open right now, and I'm very comfortable. Here, too. Right. Right. I, I, but Shecky doesn't turn his air conditioner on that much, do you? I try not to because I'm cheap. <laughs> and then I went down to the basement and I noticed there's a little drip coming out of the furnace of water that I have to have like my guy come and like put silicone over it. So I'm trying also to keep it off for that reason. I see. Okay. All right. How much how much is your how much is your electricity a month? Me? Yeah. Two seventy a month, maybe. And he's cheap with his electricity. That's electric and gas. It's a co the combo. Well, the, the combo here. What do we pay, Marjorie? What is it lately? Do you remember? No. Uh, uh, we're we're somewhere like uh, 300, 350. I got all this electronic equipment going here, but I have put in like you know the the. Uh, electricity e economy driven lights here led you know, leds and some of them are actually wi-fi's uh so that i can you know i can say echo turn off the office Nothing. did anything turn off did you see anything turn off no I could, uh, there's too much light. she wasn't listening to you alex <laughs> oh wait a minute uh echo Turn on uh, Echo, turn on the office. Yeah. Isn't that kid? I went on. Oh, oh. there you go. Oh. That's, that's because I got these lights up here. That was a little joke on my part. Oh, <laughs> oh hey, look, here comes Brian Neary. Uh, you know what he sent me a picture of? was his lovely daughter and, and them on vacation. Boy, those that was little, some lovely pictures of you, of, uh, of uh, Adrian. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Where did you go? Where did you go? Uh, we went to Lake Don Pedro. So it's about three hours out of San Jose. So it's, it's uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's a nice, uh, nice lake. Uh, we had boats and jet skis and everything going on. So it was a lot oh, of nice. And you got sun on your face uh, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I was trying to stay in the water as much as I could, but it was really nice. You sent me pictures of your daughter Adrian sleeping. All yeah. The time. It looked like you slept through <laughs> the whole time there. <laughs> no, no, she was good. And uh, Simon and Stephanie are a little bit shy usually, but they uh, there are kids. There's probably about 15 to 20 kids in all different ages. So everybody really hung out with each other. And Simon and Stephanie were very uh, active with new friends and stuff. And so these were seven of us that grew up since we're like 21 going to clubs. Yeah. And uh, now we all have families. Uh-oh. Here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Come on in, Adrian. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, there she, she is. is. Hi, Adrian. Hi. Hello. You know, it's amazing. Since you started showing her on this program, she's actually grown up. I see her growing yeah, up. Grown. Huh? Yeah, yeah. She's she's grown up pretty quick. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. She's a lot quieter now. 
Yeah, she's over this whole Alex Bennett big shot guy. <laughs> he was a big shot. He was a big shot. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, he's working with me. Nice. Okay. So yeah, so we had a good. Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time this weekend? They're asking you. What was your favorite thing? Sleeping. Huh? Swimming. Swimming. Tell them. Tell them. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you don't want it. Oh yeah. Well yeah. Back to you. <laughs> And then she did some dancing for everybody every night. So, yeah, she entertained also. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we did a lot of swimming and a lot of drinking for the gentlemen. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, so these, these seven, or eight, seven or eight of us, we all used to hang out with all the nightclubs and everything when we were younger. And now over the years, we're all families. So we had like seven, seven families. And you know, each campsite had a family. So each of us had like two or three kids. So they're oh, all. That's crazy. nice. That's yeah, great. It that was yeah. really fun. Isn't that amazing how that changes your life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, it was good. We, uh, one, of my, one of my best friends, him and I, we don't talk that much lately, but then uh, we, we drove an hour away to get a boat on one of the days and we had some good parenting talk you know, comparing stuff. So it was really, really fun. I had a really, really good time. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's really been, uh, uh, it's been a change for you. I'll tell you what I've been told by people who have kids. Jackie and I don't know that. Mm -hmm. Who else doesn't have kids here? I don't. You don't. Yeah, right. Neither does. Well, it's complicated. So we don't know this, but I've been told that once you have kids, once you have your first kid, this whole, whole thing overwhelms you. It says, I'm not the most important thing in the world anymore. Yeah, I stopped going. I had uh, one of my big, the big, my LaSalle that I had. And I just finished going on all the tours for California. And then did that, after, that, did that after that, I stopped. Yeah, actually, I sold that to upgrade our house. So we had a three bedroom, two bath. And we moved into a five bedroom after I sold that. Did your LaSalle run great? Oh, yes. Very great. <laughs> Those were the days. Well, it's not supposed to. Go, 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 go. So, um, yeah. So, so I stopped going to car shows for a while. And I had my 34 Cadillac, but I really didn't do any work on it till the last couple of years. So now that she's grown up and she wants to go everywhere, I want to get that one done to take her out. So, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, of course, one day she will be old enough to drive. She calls the gold Cadillac hers, but she doesn't know it's going to be gone pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> She'll understand. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of car, if you got her a car when, she, well, of course, it's too early to ask because there'll be a whole bunch of new cars then. But what kind of car would you get her? Well, si Simon's almost 15 and a half, so uh, he wants to get an Audi. So we, I educated him on some cars and he likes the look and I said they're really good cars. And you can look, you know, at one, one or two years old, by the time he was going to start driving, it'll be about three or four years old, depreciate and uh, really good deals. And the owners usually keep them really clean. So I, I like the Audis, even though I don't have one. But for him, something dependable. My father would not let me have a car till I could buy one. And how much did you buy one for, the first one? Believe me, I had a flunk. Uh, but he said the reason he wanted me to pay for was that was the only way I was going to respect it. Yeah. You know, that I would take good care of it. I wouldn't go driving it fast and running it off the road and not caring because I didn't get it for nothing. You know, that I had some investment. And um, I think he said he would take care of the insurance, which was really cheap in those days, but that I had to pay for the car. So is that, would you say that's a logical kind of thought to have, or would you rather just buy the kid a car? No, actually, I want to get him a car a few years old. She wants to get a brand new car, but to have payments, to have a loan out there, and then that he has to make the payments and have a job. So yeah, we do, we do want the responsibilities there for sure. Her brother, who just started driving a couple years ago, her younger brother, youngest brother, uh, they did the same thing. The family sort of pitched in for a Honda CRV, a brand new one, uh, really nice. But then they left this loan on him. So then he still made all that. He's still making payments on it. But, you know, the family took a big chunk of it since it was a new car. So, yeah. Anyway, there are a bunch of us here who didn't have kids. How many of us feel bad about that? 
Okay, so. Uh... <laughs> But I did it, you know, I, you know, I did it 48 years old. I had my first kid. So that's, that's, that was time for me. I had done everything I wanted to, a lot of car fun stuff and said, this is the time. Yeah. If I had done it before, we, my friend and I were talking, if I had done it before, yeah, you know, yeah, it wouldn't have been the right way. Enough to time to be selfish. Now, is this right. your first marriage? Uh, no. No. Okay. No, no. I mean, I just, the reason I'm asking you that is because you never had kids, I guess, in the other marriage. Right. Yeah. The other yeah, yeah. Marriage or whatever. I don't uh, know. We were trying. We were trying around the end and didn't have it. And I was sort of glad because it would have been like my other friends I used to hang out with at that on that group that sort of I would talk with them and I didn't understand. And they are having they had a couple of kids and then they're just staying together with the wife because of the kids. And I would have been in that situation, so I'm glad I didn't. We didn't have a kid. Here comes a big question for Marjorie. Marjorie, if we had met, say, oh, 40 years ago, would you be willing to have a kid with me? With you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else, maybe. Of course, <laughs> Alex. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, okay, you're saying that in retrospect. You have, you have, you know. But I mean, uh, w would you have had a kid? With I wouldn't have liked you 40 years ago. Exactly. Good. Good. Well, there Good we answer. go. Wait I know that for a fact. Hold on. You don't like me now. <laughs> <laughs> I have some question whether you like me you now, right? Like, uh, Bisheki, you know uh, us together. Do you think she likes me? Yes. Okay, well, then I'll... Accept. Thank you, Shecky. I agree. Yeah, because I like her, you know. I mean, she's a pain in the ass, but I like her. You know. Well, I am to like Marjorie, so therefore by whatever, I have to, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you've known, all my, you've known other wives of mine, haven't you? Well, Susan. You knew Susan. Yeah. Yeah. Never knew Ronnie. No, I don't think I ever met Ronnie. Yeah. Or Barbara. Wasn't there Barbara? I never had a Barbara as a wife. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea That's who the first wife was. Get my ex wife's right. What was your first one? What was her name? Linda. Linda? Yeah. And then I had Ronnie, and then I had Susan, Susan, and and you, and I four wives, and I'm going to keep doing it till I get it right, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but no, it's it, it's a, enough marriages for me, you know. But um, the, it, yeah, you you knew me when I was still married to Susan. Yes, you did. Right? Of course, I did. Yes, you did. Yeah, right. In fact, I used to stay at Susan's when I would come out to visit you. And I'm not even sure why, but when she was out in the, out in, um, you know, across the bridge. Yeah, Marin. In Marin. Yeah. I, I think because there was another bedroom there or something. So I would stay there once in a while. Oh, okay. I for, I'd forgotten about that. You know. But then again, at my age, I forget most everything. True. Uh, yeah. And, uh, no, so I, I was always very fond of Susan. I mean, she had her problems, but that's not worth yeah. talking about. That's not what we're talking about. And uh, Steve, um, uh, everything's going good downtown. You had a nice good. Yeah. Fourth of July. And, uh, you know, and it's good to see Mark Thorner. I haven't seen Mark in quite a while here. And it's nice. <clears throat> it's a nice show. Isn't this a nice, just a bunch of people just having a nice time with each other like each other which i think is it's different than the nighttime show where everybody yells oh, everyone hates you <laughs> <laughs> every week somebody says fuck you alex so that's a <laughs> guess who's gonna say that to alex this week on the hey, show. we had a couple of nights on the nighttime show last week that was just, uh, not to be believed the classics yeah there was, those, those, those are the ones you'll repeat when you're on vacation, like Leatherman used to, right? You can replay those and everyone will think we're blowing up again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there were people crying and there were people. I, I it, For the first time in the history of my career, I've interviewed how many people in my lifetime? 
I've talked to how many people on telephone calls and on citizen panels. And in all that time, no one has ever told me to go fuck myself <laughs> <laughs> until last week. When Tony told me to go fuck myself. He has a sword. Tony. Tony. Wow. Oh, what, what prompted this? <laughs> go, go watch the show. Oh, Don't tell him. Yeah, Don't yeah, tell yeah, him. Yeah, it's yeah. a teaser. Go back and watch the, the show. show. But that was that was the frosting on the cake. That was after <laughs> Kathleen spent about twenty minutes railing against crying. the citizen paddle while she was crying. Yeah. Like the water, the water machine was on. And then she called me today and asked me to, you know, to take that show off. I get rid of it. Oh wow! Deep six. No way! It's so everyone is seeing it because she had her life threatened. And just for the record, Brian Neary was not on either of those shows. <laughs> I've only missed oh, three shows fault. this year, and those two of those I was not on. So, yeah. well, yeah, yeah. And we appreciate your participation, but you're lucky to have missed those. Oh, but I, I dropped my dinner when I heard it, when I heard Tony say that, and I had to run upstairs and get on the show. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that one, yeah, that was. Anyway, hey, listen, we've run out of time here. What the hell? You know, it's it's a good time to run out. And uh, I, I really have uh, enjoyed it with you. Uh, uh, Rick, uh, thank you as always. You can expect a call from me any moment after this is over. Uh, yes, we do the after show. <laughs> the, show the late, late show. Well, no, I talked to him until the thing has, uh, has uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Rendered or whatever you call it. Whatever, yeah. Uh, and 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 thanks to Edward Berger once again. That's right. I'm now available in no deposit bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Wallace, always a pleasure. He's such a nice guy. Uh, Scott Boddicker, always good to have you here. If I can't get you on the nighttime show, I love having you on this one. Steve Bender, Jeffrey Stein, Mark Thorner, please call more often. It's for Mondays at four. You know. Yeah, really, I love having you here, Marjorie. Call, yes, call anytime, anytime. Yeah, uh, 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 and Brian Neary, thank you so much. And Mike Chisholm up in Canada, good seeing you again. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye at you. Okay, there mm. they go.